All right, I think we're gonna go ahead and get started. Thank you all for coming. Sorry for the little bit of the delay here. Was fighting Twitch over a few things, but I, I think it's working again. I, th I think it's working. <laughs> Sometimes Twitch is a little bit broken, but all's good now. And we should be good to get started. We've got a lot of people here. Uh, let me go ahead and we will start setting up. Uh, we are going to be, well, I'll explain that in a minute, but first of all, welcome to everybody. We're playing as Frodo today, and uh, let's go ahead and I think we can go ahead and start. So I'll turn off the screen, and here we go. So, <laughs> if you were not here for the last stream, we're playing on Accurate This Litter. Uh, that was not what I anticipated, but you guys absolutely smashed through the first stream goal that we had. <laughs> uh, so, we applied that to this litter. We have a second goal set up for Frodo's second litter. If you guys want to see me play on Accurate, there's two goals for that. You can either donate channel points or you can donate with real currency, uh, with a whatever whatever currency. I don't know what currency is it except it runs through PayPal. <laughs> uh, but whatever, whatever it is, you can donate that as well and if we get $50 in about the next month then we'll play a second litter on accurate too or if you guys donate channel points I don't actually know how that goal is going I don't have that up at the moment but uh, you guys should have access to that somewhere actually I bet you can see it here um, okay, yeah, so we're at about 20% there, it looks like so yeah if you guys uh, fill up that as well we'll also play on accurate if either one of them does that so we're gonna go ahead and get started and once again, here we go. So a wolf's life is about one thing, passing on its genes to the next generation. All else from hunting elk to defending a territory drives toward this single goal. You and your mate survive the hazards of the wilderness long enough to meet each other, form a bond, and survive the winter. Now you can try to realize this goal. With pups of your own, you and your mate will become the breeding pair, sometimes called alphas, of your pack. Their survival and the survival of your genetic code will be your responsibility. Even with all the dangers you face to reach this point, your real struggle has only just begun. And here we go. Let's get names on because we have Pixis here as well. So we're expecting pups, but we first of all have to get a territory. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. And as is uh, what we usually do here, as per the usual, we'll go ahead, we'll look. So we've got, this is what the territory map is going to be looking like. And we've got kind of the central no man's land, but we can also put our den up in the north or, yeah, northwest, northeast, southeast, or southwest and I'll go ahead and put a poll up for that as per the usual here and you guys can go ahead and decide where we where we settle down can vote on that and I'll give you guys just a little bit to see where that goes this is what it looks like currently um, all right let me go through yeah we went we made it through Amethyst Mountain in like one session last time so we're here in Slough Creek already for Frodo's first litter um, hello welcome to the stream and welcome back it's good to see you again and I think we'll give a little bit here and I did I put oh yeah okay, I have a command on that all right so there is a command to on the tip jar because that does not run through uh, that runs through Streamlabs and not default Twitch so if you guys want to be able to donate to the goal with real money you can use the tip jar command as Mubot has just said yeah Brain has that set up very nice thank you and uh, so if you want info on that in the link there you can find that there otherwise the channel points one you can find with that little purple probably I think it's purple for everyone circle underneath the chat bar and I think it looks like our goal is just about done so you guys want to see us in the northeast so that's up here up by the terraces so we'll go there and terraces and second meadow and elk tongue overlook so we'll go head up that way and it looks like we're gonna be fighting the prospect peak pack oh hey this is a cliff <laughs> what a way to start all right well guess that's one way to take the quick way down hopefully Pixis will Oh, she'll figure it out. <laughs> Whoops. She, she's smart enough to not, not just follow up the cliff, but uh, she'll figure it out and uh, come around and meet us there. All right, let's see. Um, I have heard about the new Planet Zoo pack. I was messaging Rain about that this morning because you guys called it. I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what the people in the stream were talking about. So you guys, you got some heckin' on-point intuition, y'all. You really do. Um... 
and uh, I'm absolutely here for it. I'm excited to get to see Clouded Leopards, among other things, it sounds like. And funnily enough, the day it comes out is actually a stream day, so hopefully, assuming the pack is out before the stream, we'll have the chance to jump right in and just start messing around with it right off the bat. So that'll be hopefully pretty fun, and we can do that. We also have, so one of the other big games that's coming up recently, or in the near term future here, is going to be Shelter 3. And I'm not sure how I'll be doing that. I'm not sure if we'll be playing it here on Twitch or not. That depends on how it handles save files. But keep an eye out for it, because I will be doing a video on it, hopefully the day it comes out on the JPlace channel on YouTube. But if it does let you have multiple save files, then we may try and do a stream of it as well. I'm not 100% sure. It depends on if I'm available the next day and all that. Uh, and we'll probably, probably be doing it on the day after, which is Wednesday. But possibly. So keep an eye out around that time to find out if that's happening or not. Because that's something that can be kind of fun that we may try and do here. Um, let's see. Alright, whoop, whoop, whoop. We're gonna... We're gonna be heading over to this area, and oh no, window, Windows updates are like the worst. They're always at the worst, the worst timing. Um, let's see. Oh wow, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be trying to save up conservation credits on Planet Zoo as well, so that we can hopefully get some animals right off the bat, uh, and be able to just jump right into that. Let's head over here. So this is McBride Lake. We're getting... No, no, we're not getting there. We're, we're definitely not there yet. I thought this was closer that way, but apparently it is not. Oh, there is a nearby den. We're not going to mess around with this one, though. We'll find some of the ones over in the area we're actually going. However, there is a bison carcass by the looks of it, I think. I think. All right. And we are playing on accurate, so if we don't have to hunt, that's definitely for the best, because hunting takes a lot, and that's not something we want to mess around with, especially, oh, there's coyotes coming. Great! Y'all can, y'all can chill. Y'all cannot do this. Are they chasing that? No, they're coming to, oh, we picked up a, we picked up a meat chunk. I didn't really want to do that. Uh, but they're coming to screw around with this. Oh, good, it picks this, chased them off. That, that, that's fine, that's fine. We're all good here. And hopefully she gets to eat as well. We are full on food. That's perfect, actually. It seems like it, it was just enough. Oh, she took a meat chunk. Seems like that was just enough food to be able to fill both of them up, which is great, because then we don't have to worry so much about it. Does she want more, or she's going to get a little bit more? All right. All right. Um, uh, yeah, unfortunately, Planet Zoo is a little bit on the pricier side, that is for sure. Um, hopefully, yeah, I don't know how often it goes on sale or not, but hopefully if it does, you'll be able to get it at some point. And yeah, of course, we will be playing it here on the channel as well, so hopefully, um, hopefully it's not, I don't think it's lagging. I'm a little worried stream is lagging a bit, but I, hopefully it's okay. <laughs> I think, I think it's probably fun. It's probably all right. Um, but I'm glad y'all are enjoying the Planet Zoo streams here as well, so there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the, uh, the, the gaming community here, and I will definitely have to go check out the Wolf Quest devlog after this, and, uh, and see, and see what, uh, see what we end up, what we end up doing with that, um, see how that ends up going. And I was thinking, too, I was thinking about it earlier, because you guys seem to really like having the, uh, donation goal for the litter difficulty. I was thinking, too, one of the things that we don't ever actually play on is that with the mate permadeath, we don't usually turn that on, because, you know, it's sad, you don't, you don't, it's, it's sad, you don't want your mate to die, but, uh, you guys do like giving me a bit of an extra challenge, and I'm not opposed to doing it, I just haven't had a way to work it in, and I was wondering, I'm pretty sure I can set up a sub goal, and I was wondering if you guys would be interested in trying to tie the uh, mate permadeath for each litter to that, so whereas if we reach the sub goal, much like we have the donation and the channel point goal, then uh, we'd be able to, to or we turn that on, and that'd be an extra challenge that I'd have to play with if you guys want to make things a little bit trickier for me each uh, each litter. So, uh, that's, a, that's an option if you guys are interested in that. Okay, you're not seeing any lag. That's good, that's good. I don't know what it's doing for sure. <laughs> Hopefully it's all right. Um, oh man, well I'm sorry you couldn't fall, fall asleep for a while, that's how, it's not fun, but I'm glad my streams are able to help. I often will listen to streams in the background when I'm doing stuff, and it's, it's nice because then I can get through content, and uh, also still be, um, like, still, still be getting, still be, get, oh, there's a den near here too, uh, still be getting to, to catch up on content, but I can also, like, play games and stuff, or, or draw or whatever. But listening to it as you're falling asleep could be good too. Uh, are those? These are dispersals, I think, right? 
That's just dispersal sets. Yeah, female dispersals. So those are not ones that we need to be too worried about. They might be minor competitors, but they're not they're not super scary. Um, so here is, this is an open den for sure. Alright, let's go ahead. We will mark on the map. This is dirt den one, and it's open. So that'll be one of the den options that we have. Um Let's see. Uh, probably not. Uh, probably not a donation goal because we are. We, I think I can only run one of those at a time. But possibly, and we're already running that for the max litter difficulty. But like a sub goal, so to have a certain number of subscribers, and you know, you can of course gift subs and stuff. And so, like for example, if we reach, I don't know how many we have, but like if we gain ten subscribers or whatever, then we turn on permadeath for that litter <laughs> or something. Whatever, whatever, whatever ends up happening, that might be something that's kind of kind of a fun thing we could try and do if guys are interested in that. Uh, oh, and I'm sorry about that, Lunar. That's not uh, not too fun when the uh, Wi-Fi stops working. That's, uh, hopefully it comes back for you soon, and I will. I'm working on, on catching the archive up. It's a little bit behind right now, um, but I'm going to be scheduling some videos there so that some of the ones that I have not uploaded will be going up soon. I'm going to be able to catch up on that. So sorry sorry about that to anybody who has uh, been watching, especially if you're watching this on YouTube or like, why were there no videos? Uh, I, I, I'm, getting them, I'm getting them set up. I'm getting them set up. I just got a little behind with that. Um, my computer's a little bit whack about uploading things at the moment, so it gets a little bit finicky. More finicky than I'd like it to be. So there is a den over here, though. This is... Is this? Oh, yeah, this is... I know this den. I know this den. This is kind of more, well... This is a little bit more of a center den, but we'll still mark it, just in case. Um, or actually... Yeah, we'll mark it. We'll mark it. It's just gonna be at the very border of it. So this is a tree den. I'm pretty sure this is open as well. So we'll mark that too. Uh, we've been here before, I think. Not... It wasn't... No, Aiden was here, and I believe Peregrine was here for a little bit as well. Um... Let's see. Yeah, it's, I think they did post about beavers. I have not seen the new Wolf Quest video. I'll have to watch after the stream. But it looks like it's a beaver video. <laughs> um, yeah, that was Aiden's first den. That was Aiden's first den, and I think Peregrine used it in her last... No, not her, her second to last litter. I think Peregrine was here at one point. Uh, but let's start marking some territory, too. We can go ahead and claim some of these spaces that are already open. Probably want to get those established, especially since this is accurate, and that's going to be a tricky thing to do. Uh, we definitely want to be careful. <laughs> so we have this one marked now. I'm probably gonna try and claim like this area kind of. One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, we can start claiming some of this area. That that'll work, I think. So we'll go ahead and do some howling as well. And we will claim some away from the other ter or the other packs, I think, before they have the chance to bulk up that territory. But we'll also try and focus on claiming some of the um, some of the unclaimed territory too. I just want to get some of the easier to claim ones because we probably will have to fight. But uh, we want to try to minimize that as much as possible because it is accurate difficulty and, and fights be scary. Hey, we got no woo starting. We got, of course, the woo. Also, y'all be thinking because we have now another founder. We have Frodo here. And maybe even something for Pixis if she does something that uh, distinguishes her personality quite a lot. But be thinking because at some point here, I don't think we have enough emote slots right now. But at some point here, we may want to add some more emotes, and we might want to add one for Frodo. Oh, that was, that was Pixis who came running up. I was confused by how she just jumped out in front of me like that. But um, that's something that uh, we may want to do at some point. So be watching Frodo through his, his uh, journey here, and uh, be thinking about if there's anything that you want to see him have an emote for. Uh, again, we probably can't do that just yet, but if he does, starts to develop some sort of distinguishing characteristic here, that could be something that's kind of fun. So, let's see. I'll go ahead, we will mark some territory here. And uh, get this set up a little bit. And hopefully, hopefully, we'll be able to get this, um, get this nice and uh, nice well marked. <laughs> sure that we end up going to the um, to the north here too and marking some of that but uh, I think we'll get this one pretty well done yeah. oh that's already maxed out then that means you got it to 100% I love that there's a music cue for it now because I don't have to keep checking the map every time so it's really great that they have the I think that, that's a great thing that they added um, 
Alright, whoa, it's like, that is an unexpectedly steep hill, apparently. <laughs> Let's go up this way, and we'll see. If we come up here, we will go into Stranger Wolf territory up here. We gotta claim over the scent post. Um, the good news is, I think, if we look at... I can't remember Frodo's stats. Yeah, he does have boosted speed, so he's a pretty fast wolf. Uh, that makes it easier to get from point A to point B. I am trying to go pretty quickly here because we are burning daylight and we're gonna need to sleep. <laughs> so we definitely want to make sure that we get that, uh, get, get as much done as we can because once we sleep, the stranger wolf packs are gonna have a chance to go absolutely ham and that's, uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be disconcerting, and they have a lot more wolf power than we do. They have more more pack members who can uh, be out claiming things, so that's that's fun. We need to we need to make our move while we can. Um, I think I guess I kind of am claiming in a bit of a different area than I expected to. Let's um, go down here. We can mark here, I guess, and uh, just be a little closer to sort of the center of the territory. We can move scent posts around as we need to as well later on, but for now this is a good place to put them, I think. And we'll see. I don't know if we will have puppy names or not this stream. Uh, we can maybe turn those on as we get closer, but those are, are something you guys will be able to submit when you get closer to it. And uh, we'll have a chance to, first of all, see how many um, how many puppies these guys have. I think they have two star diversity and they're both gray coats. So they shouldn't have a reduced litter size from low, low disease resistance like having two black-coated wolves would, but they may have a lower litter size because their uh, overall diversity was lower. I believe they had two-star diversity, so they don't have quite as different of genetics. They're a little bit, little bit more similar, and that could mean maybe a little bit, a uh, little bit of a smaller litter. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see about pup names. I'm not actually sure that <laughs> that thought occurred to me too. You guys will be able to do it when we get there, but we got to get through a marking territory first. And right now, that's what we're doing. Um, I actually want to go up here and claim this one first. Uh, we'll go north a little bit and see if we can claim the one that's up here. Because this is a little bit of a stronger hex. Hopefully it's, we don't have to run too deep into it to get to the scent post. But we're getting closer. I think if we look at the, the Stranger Wolf Pack territories, they ha they're not very strong right now. I think it may take them some time to build up as well. But uh, we'll, we'll have to see. We just want to be careful because we could get attacked here if there's a scent post. Ideally, we want to pee on the post and run away. <laughs> um... So Peregrine's Air is not going to be announced yet, but we will be starting the polls for that soon, and we'll basically be running one poll for each of Frodo's litters. So now that we're starting this, I have a little bit of a backlog of videos that need to go up, but once that's up, we'll be opening the poll on the J Place 2 channel on YouTube to be able to vote for the first potential heir. And we'll basically kind of run through it in, um, in sequence. So we'll vote for one heir from one, one heir out of every five wolves. And then um, from there, we'll vote for the overall air. Um, oh no, I hope your sick pup recovers. That's always scary. Uh, that's one of the more nerve wracking. Oops, this is not, this is our territory already. We want to mark in the one that's not. Um, that's one of the more nerve wracking things. And I'm seeing a wolf carcass sent around here somewhere. Oh, I guess we claimed it just by presence. All right, that works. Um, yeah, I thought I thought we were like leaving it or something, but no, this this works. Um, but, uh, that's one of the more nerve-wracking things that can happen in this game, honestly. Like, that, that freaks me out quite a lot. <laughs> the sickness scares me a good bit. Uh, I do not like the sickness. Oh, Pixis is coming in wanting to play. Maybe I just claimed 15 hexes in a day or two. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's quite a lot. That's quite, quite a fast progression. I usually, I think, takes two or three days for me to do it in-game. Uh, so that sounds, that sounds very fast. There, are we, we can just wait for the musical cue. <laughs> um, all right, I'll try to give you a heads up for when we open names. Rain, I don't think we'll do it just yet, but if, we, if it looks like we're gonna get close, which we probably will this time, we have an hour and a half left, we'll probably be okay. I would think, I think we'll, we'll probably be able to open names, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, 
Uh, they may not be as adventurous. The pups may not be as adventurous as Peregrine and Remus's pups because Frodo is a bit more of a cautious wolf, so we won't have that uh, bold, bold personality combo the way we did. But I think Pixis seems like a pretty bold wolf, so it's, it's still not out of the question uh, that we could have so, some bolder puppies. They might be a little bit calmer than Peregrine's, though, <laughs> just because they don't have that from both of their parents. We will have to see. If we go down here, oh, we're out of stamina. That's right, stamina I think drains very fast on, uh, on it. Ah! 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 <laughs> They're just vibing on the set post, I guess. Uh, I do not want to, uh, do not want to, to, to hunt right now. I do not, do not want this. Oh, what the? Hello. Hi. Oh, I don't like this. Um... Oh boy. Ah, gosh dang. Alright, I'm kinda not sure. It might be better to just run. Where are, how, how close are we to the edge of the territory? Oh. Um, we're not very close. Okay, I think we're gonna have to. I think we're gonna have to fight. I think we're gonna have to fight. Um. Oh gosh. Alright, we can run. Oh, we didn't get bite there. We didn't get bite. No, let me bite. Let me bite. Alright, oh, this guy, this one's a little bit down. But we really need to not, uh, not get bit. Ooh, I do not want to get bit here. All right, we need to be careful. All right, I think we can, we go, we can get the biting. We need to be the one doing the biting because otherwise we're gonna be, oh, get off that. Aha, that's exactly what I was scared of. That was like 79 damage. Holy smokes. That was 79 damage per hit. <laughs> that's why I did not want that. All right, we really need to be careful. We wanna, oh, don't, don't bite me. Don't you bite me. It is a little bit, a uh, little bit chugging at the moment too. I don't know why it's, uh, why, why it's not, not, oh gosh, they're both on me. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. All right. We need, oh, don't. Do not. Do not. All right. Can we get a good bite in? There. This one's getting kind of low on health. So that's, that's probably a good thing. Frodo's doing all right so far. I just do not want to be taking a lot of bites. Got another one in. Uh, Pixis is doing all right as well. We do have permadeath off. Oh, okay, good. They're on the run. Woo, boy! <laughs> that was uh, that was a little bit nerve wracking. That was a little bit nerve wracking. Yeah, there's so so many elf tracks, so many elf tracks. All right, um, we can put scent post here probably because we just claimed this. Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, we want to make a scent post here. Um, let's see. Yep, wolves do go burr. Hey, and we got no woo. <laughs> We already filled it up. We can go down here and try and claim this one, and then we'll try and claim the other blue one, I think, and that'll get us pretty close, because I hopefully the, the packs won't totally try and claim all of the No Man's Land yet, and we'll have a little bit of chance to, to be able to deal with that, and I think we should heal from this overnight. I think we'll have enough chance to do that. I hope that'll be a good thing. Um... Oh, there's like a wolf carcass here too. Oh my goodness. Who? Oh man. Well, that's kind of whack. That's not, that's not a comforting thought. That's not really what you want to be seeing. That's kind of a, an unnerving thing to find. Yeah, RIP random wolf. <laughs> that's not really what you want to be seeing. Uh, let's go over here. Spicy violence. Yeah, there is some spicy violence happening. <laughs> oh my goodness, there, there, there do be indeed. I wonder if that was another, another dispersal that wandered into the pack's territory here or something. Um, oh, you can't bite in scent mode. I didn't know you couldn't bite in scent mode. Huh. I guess you could do it where you, when you get really close, you could switch into. Well, I don't know if you can bite in headcam, but you could briefly switch out of it long enough to bite. Or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, that would have been very cool. That's a very interesting idea for sure. Um, let's put our scent post here. We'll go ahead and howl. There's some coyotes chasing the hare. But I think overall we're doing okay. I want to try. The sun's going to go down here, so I want to try and make sure that we um, do get to sleep soon. But we want to be kind of careful. 
careful with that. <laughs> we want to make sure that we're, we're, we're going to be good on our territory here. Like one more should do it. Hello, welcome to the stream. We are marking some territory before we get ready for another Wolf Quest accurate playthrough. I think, oh, did we get it all the way up to 100? Oh, we did, okay. Um, so we can... Do you think we can get three? I don't think we can get three, but we're gonna try. <laughs> we are sure gonna try. We'll go down here. Oh, I do want, no, actually I wanna find this den. If we find the den, oh, I bet the den's around the front of these rocks, actually. I bet the den is around the front of these rocks. I'm pretty sure that's where it would be. Oh yeah, we're getting close to it. Somewhere around here. Oh, I see den sense. Oh, I think we've been, have we been here before? Is this one that we were at with, uh, with Peregrine? I think this might be. So let's go ahead and we'll mark this. This is a rock den, and I'm pretty sure it's an open one. So rock den one, open, I'm guessing. Um, there we go, we'll close out of this. And this is almost in new territory, so we'd want to go mark pretty close here. I think this is Peregrine's old den at one point. Uh, yeah, it is a nice den. It is a potential option here. Uh, we will be opening puppy name suggestions soon, but we want to make sure that we're gonna get through this, uh, this episode first. Which we should, I would imagine, but we'll open it a little bit closer to the time. So you'll be able to suggest them just uh, a little bit sooner. You can always, well, you can, technically you can submit them for bits at this point. Just we gotta make sure we track that. But uh, the actual channel point suggestion name, or name suggestions will be going up a little bit later on when we're a little bit closer. And that should be good. Alright, so how many are we gonna have? One, we're gonna have seven, eight, nine... Oh, yeah, we're getting pretty close. All right, let's go this way. Um, we have, we're gonna be claiming that one, so don't worry. Um, we'll be claiming that one, and then we'll have nine of our 15, which should be pretty good, and hopefully it won't be too terrible to deal with uh, coming back the next day here. So, let's see. You started your wolf, one of your wolves at the den and flooded the first day. Oh no, that's not good. That, that's really not good. The den floods in this are another very scary thing that can happen. Uh, they always freak me out when they happen because it's always, it's never entirely expected. Like, it could happen, but it's always when you just, when you start to think, oh, maybe it won't, and then it does. <laughs> that's when it, that's when it, that's always when it happens. It's never when you're actually thinking it's going to. likes to howl laying down. I've noticed this about her. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, that's good. I've had... We had den floods. We had... Well, we definitely had a den flood with Peregrine. We also had a couple of den floods with Aiden. I don't think Pyrrha... Pyrrha's never had one. And we'll have to see about Frodo if he ends up having them. <laughs> uh, a lazy howler, indeed. I love that that's a thing that you can do, though. It, it's just, it's so good. It's such, it's such a little thing, but it's such a beautiful flavor thing, and I love it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right, we're just going to claim this one Prospect Peak territory. In fact, maybe what we'll do is we'll just, like, mark over the scent post and then go to sleep. Yeah. Oh, there's a den near here, too. Is there... Do I see scent for it? We will see, we will see. Might be around here somewhere. But, oh, here's this, there is a scent post. We'll go looking for this den in the morning if we don't find it now. Oh, we are getting closer. Actually, maybe it will be kind of close. So, oh, uh... I'm not seeing the scent, so we'll go back and look for it in the morning. But we'll probably pee on the scent post, we'll, we'll, mar we'll make our own and then we'll probably sleep here, I guess, and that'll, um, that'll get it, uh, that should get it up to 100%. Um, yeah, I don't know, game, from a game standpoint, it probably does impact it if you're sleeping in the den with the puppies. <laughs> so that could be why, why it's never happened to Pyrrha, uh, because she does tend to sleep in the den with the pups a lot. She has, however, had to move due to flea load, which is not something that's happened to all of our wolves. Well, I guess... Usually it does, but with not quite as much urgen urgency in question as it did for Pyrrha. So, let's go over here, we'll mark, and then we'll sleep a little ways away, and we will try and get this up to 100 by doing that, and hopefully we don't lose the rest of our territory come morning time here. Let's go ahead and sleep. Aw, Pixis. Oh, Pixis! Oh my goodness, no! This is gonna be the sleeping area! 
<laughs> She's a little enthusiastic, y'all. She's a little bit enthusiastic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, she she got kind of the wrong idea there. <laughs> Was it a little little bit of a mixed signal? A little bit of a mixed signal as to what we were what we were thinking about doing. <laughs> Oh goodness. Alright, we'll sleep. I hope our I hope our territory is not like absolutely getting destroyed right now. Um hopefully it's not, but um We'll see, we'll see. I think. Alright, it is morning. If I get up now, are we full on sleep? We are full on sleep. Alright. And lo and behold, everything is still holding pretty solid, so what we'll probably do is try to come around here then. Uh, first things first, though, I want to find that den, because there is supposed to be one around here somewhere, and I think... Oh, I hear bison. Don't want to mess with that, don't want to mess with that, but it's over here somewhere, it looks like. So if we go this way, there's one around here somewhere. And we want to run upwind of it. If we go this way, oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. It is a dirt den. I'm not sure if this is a wooded den or a dirt or an open den. Uh, dirt den two? Question mark. Because we're not sure if it's an open den or not. But let's go ahead and we'll make our way right up here and we'll start to uh, start claiming some more territory. Um, yeah, make it, so making the pup sleep in the den, it is a little bit safer because you don't have to woof, woof him in the den if a predator shows up in the middle of the night, but it also does make the flea load go up a lot, uh, much more so compared to sleeping outside. So it's uh, it's got its advantages and disadvantages for sure. We'll have to see what Frodo's tendency ends up being, uh, if he ends up being more, more careful in that regard, or if he ends up being a little bit uh, uh, pr prioritizing not, uh, not having to deal with the flea load like that. We will see. We will see. So at this rate, it seems like we've got we've got nine here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's easily sixteen. I would say let's go ahead and open puppy names because I'm pretty sure we're gonna get there. We got an hour and fifteen minutes left, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to uh, <laughs> to get to puppies in that time. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll do that. Uh, you can open that up, Rain, if you wish to do that. You can open that up, and then, of course, you can always submit names with bits as well for 100 bits per name. Uh, we'll go ahead and add that to the list uh, as well and keep track of those. Okay, have fun, y'all. <laughs> the names are open. The date, Let the deluge begin. Let's see. We'll come up here and try and mark over this. I have a feeling we're going to get attacked again, though. Oh, we didn't actually heal all the way either. I thought we were gonna, but we didn't. Maybe it's because our food started dropping more. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pee and run here if we can. Uh, we'll see. All right, this is dangerous territory. Uh, we do want to... Okay, Pixis. Pixis, did you... Did you get into a problem? She might be okay. She might be okay. I don't know what she doing over here. I hope she didn't like run into stranger wolves though is my concern, but she doesn't seem to be taking damage, so I don't think she did. Oh she Did she? Oh she did! She did! Hey! Hey! She did! Oh Pixis! Now is not the time! Pixis! Hey! Watch out! Watch out! That is not the time for that! Get out of here! That's just one of them, so hopefully he won't be too easy to chase off because it's 2v1. But uh do be careful. We don't want to take too much damage. Are you not gonna run at all, sir? Yeah, you better get out of here. Yeah, now now his his, his flight bar is pretty full, so he should leave. There we go. He'll get out. He'll get out. Go ahead and give a good howl, and we should be good. Lots of names coming in. Yeah, there's so there's there's a limit of I think it is I think it's twenty names. Yeah, um, yeah, I think it's twenty a twenty name limit. And then uh, there's no limit to the number of names you can submit for bits. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. All right, we gotta make a scent. Oh yeah, we gotta make a scent post. Uh, we gotta make a scent post. We'll come over here, and um, we will see. We'll go ahead. And we will make a scent post right here. I think we'll go ahead and pay. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we gotta oh, fix this. <laughs> she just no, no sense of personal space. <laughs> No sense of personal space. <laughs> wow, you all have some serious channel points going on. You all have some serious channel points. Uh, very, very fun. Uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying them, and 
you guys are going to be able to wreak some serious chaos with this at some point. <laughs> if you so desire to, you guys will be well able to do that. Um, oh my goodness. Alright, let's go this way and see. I think if we go over here, we should be able to uh, come down this way. And I think there's another one here that we can mark. Uh, and we probably, I hope, I'm hoping that'll be the last we have to do with fighting stranger wolves, because uh, I think like these air. Well, we might have to fight lower ones down. Oh, actually, now that I'm looking at it, it doesn't seem like there's a scent post here. Oh, there is a scent post. It's just over here. All right. Um, well, nothing wrong with sitting on your channel points if you so desire to. Uh, that is your choice. Oh boy. Uh, oh, that was the one going up. So maybe that, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. That was the one, probably the one we just fought. Um, but let's go mark over this, and hopefully, man, the stamina drain on this is just absolutely brutal. Absolutely heckin' brutal. Stamina drain on Accurate is wild. <laughs> um, let's see. Alright, alright. Uh, I don't actually want to mark here. Let's go this way. We have it claimed now, fortunately. So let's go back near our territory, and then we'll go see. I'm a little bit worried, because this is Prospect Peak, I think, so there might be more Stranger Wolves this way. Or we might just be... Well, maybe we're just seeing the scent trail, because these ones... That Yeah, that might just be the scent trail. Oh, that's elk. Hello. That's where the music changed. I was like, what's going on? And it's just an elk herd, apparently. Uh, but we'll go ahead and we'll mark over here. And we'll see... Oh my gosh, you guys could just max the channel point goal. Oh my goodness. So the way we'll do that too, the way we'll do these goals is basically every time a goal gets hit, it'll go up by a little bit. So it'll it'll steadily it'll steadily get more more interesting to hit the goals, but hopefully as the, the channel grows, it'll continue to kind of keep it at a rate that you guys will be able to do. And that way we'll probably have kind of a nice little in interspersion of some, some litters that are on challenging, some that are on accurate, uh, depending on what y'all want to see. And then if we run the May Permadeath thing separately the way we were talking about maybe doing, which I think I might try to get set up for next time, because it kind of seems like a fun way of doing it. Um... Then that'll be maybe something that uh, will be on some litters and off others as well. Fixis, are you good? <laughs> she keeps getting, uh, she keeps keeps getting, um, keeps getting keeps getting left behind here. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> um. Oh my goodness. <laughs> rain, rain doesn't is not as uh, driven by challenge. That's that's fair. That's fair. Um, I can go either way. I can go either way. Um, but I, it's fun to see, it's fun to see how enthusiastic y'all have gotten about it, and, uh, so I'm glad, glad to see that there is indeed interest. Alright, uh, somewhere over here is Scent Post, we'll go mark that, and, uh, try and do that, and then leave again as quickly as we can. Um, it's a hundred bits per name, or a thousand points per name. Um, let's see. It's just the, it's just an empty emote for Pixis because Pixis got left behind. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh gosh, that could be hilarious. That honestly could. Um, oh yeah, that is a big boy. Two, plus two strength is pretty, pretty strong. Pretty dang strong. Um, yep. All right. Hello? Oh, uh, no, not you again. No, I do not want this. I do not want. I do not want. I do not want. Alright, um, we might be able to intimidate some just by growling. Oh, Pixis is getting bit. Um, if they. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we're probably at the point where we're gonna have to. Alright, I'm going for this fool. Um, if I can. If I can actually reach him. Alright, there we go. Oh, yeah, she's down. She's down. She's down. We should be good. Should be able to do this. Don't run out of stamina though, but we are getting her. Oh, there we go. Nice. Perfect. That worked out. Alright, y'all get out of here. Y'all get out of here. Alright. Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome, Violet. Good to see you again. Alright, yep, these jokers are back. <laughs> they are here indeed. Alright. Fixus is very pretty in the snow. Look at her. She is so pretty. Oh, she's doing an awoo. Look at these guys. Hey, it's time for a woo. 
I love that we have that. Like, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying that so much. I, I love that we're able to have that. Um, let's see. Yeah, and no worries about being late. Again, you can always catch up. Or you can, you, we're glad you're here, and you can always catch up uh, either here on Twitch or I'm getting them uploaded on YouTube. I'm sorry they're late, but uh, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right. Um, Pixis is catching up. I'm gonna go back across because I don't want to have to swim just to go pee every time. Uh, let's go over here. Do that. And let's see. <laughs> All right. Over here. Over here. Um, we should be able to mark territory, and then we can have... Alright. There we are. Alright. Oh, wow. The, the, the Shelter 2 fires are scary. It's been a good bit since I've had to deal with one in in the. Oh, it's been a bit since I played Shelter Two. I do want to go back to be, to playing that too. We'll be doing that probably sometime around the Shelter Three release. Um, but of course, we'll probably be focusing more on Shelter Three for the time being. But uh, uh, yeah, the fires are scary. The fires are very scary. <laughs> All right. Oh, eight names suggested. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's go down here. Uh, we will run to the other territory. Let's not go through the bison herd. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes they do happen in summer. They can kind of start towards the end of it. Uh, oh, you're thinking of starting a YouTube channel. We'll quest in a couple other games. Honestly, the first, the, the biggest tip that I can offer with that is uh, to, like, just, just focus more on, like, it's, it's gonna be a learning curve all the way along. I left my first videos up, not because I think that they're, they're good, but because they're not. Uh, I did not know what I was doing, but I hope that, you know, and there, there are good points to them, too, and I do, I did genuinely enjoy watching back through them more recently, but, you know, uh, I left them up mostly kind of as an example and inspiration, because I know I didn't know everything that I know now. Uh, there's a lot of things I would have done differently, but that was all stuff that I kind of had to learn and get a feel for over time, and so, like, a lot of it is just a learning curve, and be be ready for that. You don't have to have everything figured out right at the start. You don't have to have all the best equipment. Uh, I mean, I started out with a pretty pretty garbage microphone, but uh, eventually, when I I think it was like a year or two into the channel, that I actually got the one that I have now. That's a lot better, and uh, I got that from my earnings from the channel. So like, you don't have to have everything that you don't have to have everything sorted out right away. Um, you can kind of scale your channel as it grows, and so if it doesn't grow a lot right away, you're not having to put a huge amount of investment into it, but as it does grow, you can start kind of investing more. Uh, that's kind of my take on it. Um, but yeah, I mean, don't be afraid of messing up, don't be afraid to learn as you go. You're not gonna know everything going into it in the start. You Maybe your first videos aren't gonna be as good as your later ones, but that doesn't mean that they're not still gonna be enjoyable, and that doesn't mean that uh, you won't get better with time. So I guess the, the, thing I'm, the thing I'm trying to say here is don't be scared of not getting everything right off the bat. <laughs> uh, because it takes a bit, and it takes some learning. And, um... You know, it's a, it's a process. It's, it's something that you get used to. Um, I do have... Oh, you have, a, you have an editor. Okay, that's that's good. I was going to say, if you don't have that, there is a lot of good free software. I use... Well, I use the I use the paid version of DaVinci now for my, um, for my stuff, DaVinci Resolve. Um, but there is a free version of it that is pretty good. Uh, and I only got the paid version because I needed some of the more advanced features for stuff. <laughs> so uh, if you don't if you don't need that, and you do need an editor, that one I would definitely recommend. It works great um, for what it is. A little quirky at times. There's some things you got to get used to with it, but overall very solid. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you already have the software, that's great too. Um, yeah, definitely too. If you are younger, especially, but even as an adult, uh, be careful about what inf information you're putting out on the internet. Don't let people know where you live. Don't people let people know your real name or your real age. Uh, be careful doing face reveals. <laughs> yeah, that's one. There, you know, I have shown my face on my channel, but I don't do it super frequently, and uh, I am generally kind of cautious with that still. And I don't have my real name out on the internet. It's not not accessible. 
Um, the names that I use are not my real name, so and that that helps preserve my own privacy because uh, you know you don't you don't it's too e it can be too easy to find people in today's world. And unfortunately, when you put information out on the internet, even though the vast majority of people are probably fine and are not going to do anything harmful with it, it is going to be accessible to those who could. And so you want to be careful <laughs> with what you're putting out there. Internet safety gets vastly underplayed. And that's not to say that, like, you can't find real legitimate people and you can't make real friends on the internet. You can, but you have to be careful. Uh, and you want to be cautious and you want to know people well before you tell them too much about yourself. <laughs> Pixis, are you okay? She's getting left behind again. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is definitely becoming her thing. Um, let me see. I missed something I see. I missed something. Let me see. Um, oh, let me see. Oh yeah, thank you for the donation. I see it now. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, and thank you for the name or for the, na the name submission as well. Thank you guys very, very much for that. Uh, I do see indeed. Uh, I, <laughs> I was talking, I was talking, um, indeed, and I don't, I get, oh, it does show up in my, yeah, it shows up in my notification feed, nice, I didn't realize that Streamlabs included that, but that makes sense, um, I can see it on there, so yeah, they're very nice, thank you for that. Alright, there is, there is Den somewhere around here, and there is also, okay, this is, this is one we want to mark, we're probably going to switch to April here, I think, because... Uh, I think we're, I think we're going to, going to have the snow, oh my goodness, Pixis, <laughs> what is personal space, she got, oh my goodness, she like, <laughs> she like, she got stuck, oh right, we have to do pack name, I completely forgot that was a thing, uh, can we get that turned on as well, oh my goodness, um, but yeah, she like actually clipped into Frodo and I couldn't move for a second there because she was standing right in front of him apparently, she's, she's so great, she's so great, I love her, I love her. Oh my goodness. Uh, but yeah, thank you for the bits and the donation. Um, let's open let's open name sub submissions for, for pack because I forgot that we even had that. <laughs> we it, it's been so long. We only choose that one time. So okay, names are open. Great, great. And uh, as always you can submit those for I think they're at five hundred bits and capped at five, I think. Um, but they're also, you can also submit those four bits as well for a hundred bits, same as everything. So yeah. <laughs> I will give a little bit of time for that. Um, <laughs> Frodo and Pixis have fused, they just, just become one singular entity. <laughs> uh, they, they just commit, re commit reverse mitosis. What, what is that? They just merge. <laughs> uh, what's, oh... Um, I don't know what the character limit for pack names is. Um, I think probably those are okay, but try to maybe keep it a little bit on the shorter end. I think the ones we have are probably all right. If not, uh, we can go ahead and, and trim them down a little bit if need be. Like we could probably, I think, yeah, we could eat, we could trim those. those. I think they'll, I think they'll fit, but if they don't, we can trim them down slightly. Uh, but those are very pretty names. Oh, that's so cute that your cat needs in the air when you pet him. Oh, kitties are amazing. <laughs> kitties are honestly amazing. Uh, the character limit, let's see. Yeah, I'm curious how many pups they'll have, too. Oh, you think the maximum with a two star is five? Huh. Yeah, I saw that bug got fixed <laughs> in one of the recent updates I was going through, and I think I messaged Drain about that, too. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm glad that got fixed before we play on Accurate. Oh my goodness. Oh, that, <laughs> that is an excellent name suggestion, Rain. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's incredible. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Awesome name suggestions so far. I will give it a little bit more if we get five name suggestions. Uh, we probably, like, if, if we fill up name suggestions, I'll go ahead and call it. Um, uh, but otherwise, I'll give it a few more minutes here if y'all want to. Let me just go get that set up and uh, give a little bit more time for that so that you can continue to submit if you so wish to. Uh, bum, 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 bum. I have to navigate my Twitch dashboard. <laughs> I have to figure out what I'm hacking doing. But uh, here we go. I think we're all right. Um, <laughs> that, that, that was absolutely great. Okay, we've got, I see we've got some uh, names for pups as well. Uh, all right, okay, let's see pack names. 
All right, we have three currently. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we got three, three names in currently. I'll give it a little bit longer. But after that, after that, um, we'll go ahead and continue on. All right, aw, that is very cute. Shadow always will like want to come in here with me. She can't. She can't be in my bedroom normally, and I work in my bedroom, so because of my allergies, she can't usually be in here. But occasionally, I'll let her come in for a little bit, and she like, she gets so insistent about wanting to be in here and be with me. But then, as soon as I am sit, sit down and hold her, she wants to escape and and like go behind my computer and, and places she can't be. <laughs> so like, she'll sit there and yell at me until I let her in, but then she does things that immediately get her sent back out because I can't, I can't have her crawling around behind my computer. <laughs> um, she's, she's such a goofer sometimes. All right. Yep. Hey, all right, one more pack name, and I'll probably wrap it up very shortly here, so if anybody else wants to get one last one in, then there we'll go. Oh. <laughs> Shadow is a bit of a more common name, but you know it's also a very hacking fitting name for for some for some pets. It just it works. It's one of those names that just works. Oh my goodness! <laughs> my shadow very much lives up to her name too because she'll follow us around the house. Like she she's a very social kitty. Uh, she wants to be with people, and so she just sneaks around after us and settles down wherever we're hanging out most of the time. <laughs> so she does live up to her name of being a shadow. <laughs> yes, it's so sweet. <laughs> oh, goodness. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and close names, I think. We'll go ahead and pause. Thank you guys all for submitting. We have four of them at the moment. And I'll go ahead and put them into a poll for y'all. So go ahead, we will manage the poll. Um, what should we name our pack? Uh, there's, we kind of, I might have to rephrase some of these a little bit because it, it just puts pack on the end of the name. You don't get to pick with that. But, um, let's see. So, I will try to accommodate as much as I can, though. Alright. Let's see. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if it will work quite as well, but yeah. All right. All right. And I guess here I'll, I'll include pack. Um, okay. And let's see. I'll go ahead and we will start the poll and y'all can vote on this. <laughs> and we will see. You see? Oh my goodness, <laughs> that's great, Rain, too, that he just follows you as well. Oh. oh my goodness. Siamese are very, very... They're cats with much personality. Uh, we think Bean Bean may have been part Siamese, uh, because he acted it. <laughs> but they definitely are very, very personable cats with a lot of presence. Uh, I do really like them. <laughs> I'm curious to see what you guys decide. Uh, all of them are awesome ideas for sure. Uh, let's see. Alright. Ah, oh. oh, yes, okay. <laughs> Alright, I have to remember, don't let me forget to check my Discord messages for name submissions <laughs> when, uh, when we get the, um... Uh, when we get to puppy names. Okay, okay, so yes. White Claw Pack it is. We will go ahead and very nice. Alright, so it says do not include pack. We are not going to include pack because it'll be added. So we have the White Claw Pack now, which is very cool. Okay, we'll, we will we'll go to choose a den, but uh, we will mark a little bit more territory and we will look for that one more den before we vote on that. So let's see. <laughs> All right, very, very nice names, everybody. And it loading. Here we go, it loading. All right, your pups will be born soon. Now the snow's beginning to melt, it's time to find a good den site. There's no need to dig a new den. Uh, you can find abandoned burrows, cavities in old tree roots, or gaps under large boulders. Let's revisit the dens. And I think, so what we'll do, because there's one near here. There's one near here, we'll look for it. I think it's... I think it's up this way. We'll, we'll try and track it down. I want to see which one this is. Um, 
it looks like it's up here. Hopefully it won't immediately throw us, like, I hope, hopefully it doesn't, like, cancel out if you, if you, I don't actually know what happens if you say no right away. Oh, it looks like maybe it's this way. Oh, I see sense now. I see the sense now. All right, right over here. Looks like we have a abandoned coyote den right over here. So this is probably a dirt den. Oh, hello, leg. Yeah, we got a dirt den. All right. It is a wooded den, so not now. All right, let's go ahead and we'll mark this. So this is a dirt den three. And I will go ahead, I will actually put these in. We're gonna go mark this territory, or this one here too. So we have dirt den one, tree den one, dirt den three, uh, rock den one, and dirt den two, which we don't actually know which it is. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a poll. Uh, let's go ahead and do which den should we choose? Oops. Um, go ahead and do that. Uh, let me also really fast. We'll mark, make sure that we mark those complete. There we go. And I will add in. I think, and I'm guess taking my best guess at some of these, so. As to whether they're open dens or wooded dens. Oops. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and we will put this up and start the poll. You guys can pick that. I'll leave this up for a little bit and I will return momentarily. All right, so it looks like we have chosen Ruck Den 1. So I will go ahead, that is the one right there. All right, so <laughs> kind of on the other side of the territory. So in that case, maybe I will not even bother marking that one. Let's just go up and we'll go straight to see this one then. <laughs> All right, uh, Den names are at 500 points, it looks like. Ah, uh, thank you for spending bits. We'll go ahead and uh, I will we'll make sure we have that added. We have a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of names actually. Thank you guys very much for the bit names. We'll make sure we get those added in and uh, include them. So let's see. Oh my goodness, this is <laughs> this is a uh, this what this is lagging a slight bit here. Um, let's see. Uh oh, sometimes badges. Sometimes badges glitch out, I think. They do they do some some funky things occasionally. <laughs> you might have to either reload or sometimes it comes back on its own. Oops, I actually need to do that real fast as well. So I can see my Twitch again. <laughs> and then we come back here. And I think we should be good. Um Oh yeah, so Pixis Pixis probably here, let's see, where is she? Pixis, come back! Pixis, come back! Come back! Come back, stand where we can see you. Here, we're gonna go in photo mode before she lays down. But yee, pregnant. She's she's got her pregnant look. <laughs> she's gonna have her babies. I for always forget that that's a thing. I always forget to show that, but it's so cute. <laughs> so yeah, 
because she's, oh, there we go, zoomed in too close on Frodo, but <laughs> there we go, she's gonna be our mama. Aww. We'll have to see how many babies, too, and she's laying down. <laughs> I knew she was gonna do that. She likes to, likes to chill out, but you know what, I can't blame her. She is uh, about to have babies after all, so she needs her rest. But yee! I think it's such a cute feature, I'm so glad they added that. Like, it, it's such a, it's just, it's one of those things where the details just absolutely make it. Like, it's, it doesn't, it's not a huge gameplay feature, but it just adds so much for just, even if it's just the smallest thing, just adds so much. So, alright, we've got a den up here somewhere? <laughs> oh, it's around the corner. It's around the corner. I feel like we did have Peregrine here at one point. I cannot for sure remember, but I feel like we did. So we'll go ahead. We will choose this. Um, oh, we need den names as well, huh? <laughs> so many things to name. All right, we'll go ahead. You guys voted for this one. It is indeed an open den, and we will go ahead and uh, we will take a look at this one. So it is a, it is a pretty deep looking rock den, and we got to name this one as well. And uh, I forgot to uh, <laughs> forgot to hack and turn den names on again. Unfortunately, her personality trait is chill. Yes, it is. Um, let's see. Do we have that on? Uh, let's see. Let's go over here. Um, I'm gonna go make sure we get that on. Sorry for not turning this on earlier. There's a lot to keep track of right now. Uh, we'll see. Oh, Rain got it. Good, good, good. Thank you, Rain. <laughs> Rain, you are you are on it. You are very much on it. Okay, so. Uh, I said I might stream Shelter 3, so I mentioned a little bit earlier, but I'll mention it again. So basically, kind of what's happening is, uh, so Shelter 3 actually is coming out, uh, in, like, a couple weeks, actually. <laughs> uh, and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be putting out a video on it first on the Main J Plays channel on YouTube. But it depends on what they do with the save game system, because I don't know how it's going to work, but I know the previous two Shelter games only had one save slot. So if it only has one save slot, then we will have to play, we'll only be able to play on the main channel. But if it has multiple save slots, I'll probably try and do a stream of it the next day on Wednesday. And uh, we'll see if that works. I have to check my schedule and I won't know until it's closer. I will try to announce on YouTube when I'm getting the channel to, or when I'm getting, I'm gonna be trying to put out the, the stream, the stream schedules again on there. Um, I just have been bad about that lately, and I'm sorry for that. I've been a little bit disorganized, but I'll be trying to put that up on Tuesday. Hopefully, by the time that I put it up that Tuesday, I'll play Shelter Three on uh, on and already recorded that video. I'll be having that ready to go. And when I know how the save ha are handled, then I'll be able to say, okay, yeah, we can do this tomorrow if I'm available. Uh, or no, we can't. <laughs> so keep an eye out. Keep an eye out on the J Plays channel on YouTube. But I'm hoping I can. I would love to, but I don't know if I'll be able to or not. So we'll see. All right, we got some names coming in. Uh, yeah, we only need we only needed a few. So ye, <laughs> we are getting closer. All right. Um, oh, I'm glad you like him. He is a very pretty wolf. I, I do love him as well. Uh, let's see. There we go. We're up to three den names. Very, very nice. Alright. And I think we're getting close. We'll let it, let it be open for a little bit more, but, uh, not too, too much longer. Um, oof. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried we are very close to Prospect Peak territory. We'll have to see how that all goes. Uh, and then I'm not too sure. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Um. Alright. Okay, um, all right, we got one more, and then we'll leave it open for a little bit in case anyone wants to take that last slot, but otherwise we will go ahead and pause, and I'll pick from these. But I think, <laughs> I think we should be pretty close. Um, yeah, Prospect Peak, Duke Ober. <laughs> we'll see, we, we definitely have fought with them before with, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was one of Peregrine's times. I think it was Peregrine's second litter that we were at one of these dens, but I think it may have been this exact one, because I think we went from there to the uh, tree den that we saw earlier as well, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, there's a lot of storylines to keep straight. <laughs> um, but hopefully it'll be alright. We are playing on accurate, so uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, hopefully, hopefully it's okay. I think... So we played on Accurate with Peregrine, and the territory was absolutely insane. Um, but I think they actually made some tweaks to it partway through, so that hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for us the whole way through here, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm not sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and we will pause Redemptions, unless somebody wants one last, uh, one last name. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pause it though, and we'll go ahead and choose from these. So we have four name options. Let's go, what should we name our den? And take a look at our possibilities here. All right. All right. We'll go ahead and we will start the poll. And you guys can vote on which one we want to use. So we got four options here. And we'll go ahead and name it one of them. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, sickness. We'll see. These guys should have moderate immunity. We they should have moderate immunity. Um we don't have any black coat genes in this family, so they're definitely not at risk of having uh, two black coat genes and being more sickly, but they also aren't going to get that immunity boost. <laughs> they're all just going to have the gray coats because uh, both Frodo and Pixis have. Well, yeah, no, I would think I would think so because I don't think Pixis has... Does Pixis, Pixis doesn't have... Because there was one of the new coats that I'm pretty sure has a black coat despite being white. And I believe they mentioned that in the devlog and said that was due to... Like, they gene tested some of the wolves. Um, and so it was probably a, a wolf that had a white coat with age, but that was actually a black coat. But I don't think that's the coat that Pixis has. So, well, I guess we'll see if any of them <laughs> end up having black coats or not. Uh, but it looks like you guys have named this the Cliff Overlook Den. So we will go ahead and add that one in, and I will make sure that we complete those. And then we have a, quite a few pup names coming in, so we'll see how many uh, how many babies we have. <laughs> thank you guys very much. Um, thank you for contributing channel points too. I don't know if I've always seen that, but let's see how many puppies we get. Uh, I'm sure there's been some of the other ones too, so I apologize if I have any. I <laughs> said thank you, but uh, thank you guys very much for that. Yeah, the Cinderella coat is the one you guys are or that we're talking about, and it looks like we have four of them. So there are two females and two males. There's a there's oh that's the smallest litter we've ever had. I think we do have some slots. Uh, how many names do we have? We have. So yeah, we can take up to 16 names. We can take up to 16, or no, we can take up to 20 names. Yeah, we can take up to 20 names because we can do five for each pup. So that works. But very, very small litter. So yeah, it's probably the lower diversity, but let's see what they look like a little bit older. So I'm now four weeks old. Your pups are too big for the den. As they spend their days playing outdoors, socialize with them with playful emotes to increase the affinity of your family pack. If they're playful, play with them. If they're hungry, feed them. If they stay stray far from the den, go find them and carry them back. So we got to keep feeding them until they reach 15 pounds. And here we go, let's meet the babies. So here's 3F and 2M and 3M. Look at the babies, oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at them. Oh, and there comes Pixis. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> I think they mostly took after their mom, it looks like. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love them. I love them, you guys. <laughs> I already love them. Oh, so I think they mostly got, I think they mostly inherited their actual coat looks from Pixis, it looks like. She's creeping out of the den there, but it looks like a couple of them, I think this nearest one and this middle one here may have gotten a little bit of Frodo's red tinting for, I don't know if it's four or minimum that is, uh, or four or three, that's the minimum, <laughs> but they are, they're very light puppies. Uh, yeah, same number as the original game, indeed. So, you can have one- oh! Huh. I did not know you could have one. Wow. Alright, I did not know that was possible. Okay, so let's see. So, I think- so we have two- we have two- uh, okay. So let's- we'll, let's go in order and see who this is. And <laughs> see who these babies are. So this is 2M. Right here is this very, very kind of grayish- well, they- do they all have different coats? I think they actually might all have different coats. Either that or it's just different tinting. But some of them do look like, I think they're all different. So this is 2M. This is, I think, 2F. This is 2F, indeed. Uh, indeed, indeed. She's got kind of a grayish coat as well. Uh, let's go over here. So this is 3F. She has kind of this sort of, sort of sunny-ish colored look to her. She's got kind of a, an almost, almost faintly goldeny blonde look. And then we go here. This is 3M 
over here and he's also got a little bit more of a golden-y look <laughs> so okay if you have zero stars if you have zero stars then they can do that but yeah <laughs> indeed we've got we've got the uh the chomp going on now we got the chomp going on um but yeah they all yeah they all are gray so i don't think i do not think that pixis has one of the coats that is um a black coat that just turned white <laughs> we got lead chomp all right let's see so let's go back here out oh, that's frodo himself so this is 2m who is right here i'm gonna go ahead and we'll pause we'll go ahead and get some names from i'm gonna pause on the names and we have quite a few that have come in so this is oh i gotta get there again <laughs> uh we'll go ahead and we will uh We'll get our names in and we'll see. Let's, where do we have it? I gotta get there. I keep, I need to not close the hecking tab every time. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh, let's go ahead and we will pause once more. And I think, oh, all right, so we have, we've got some, all right, we've got several different names here and then we got some, all right, we got some here as well. Thank you for tracking those rain. So we've got, <laughs> my goodness. There is a definite possibility for a theme here, and I'm curious to see if people do it. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, I'm gonna see if you guys figure it out. <laughs> all right, so um, this is this guy. All right, let's, this is 2M. Two, two Oops, let's see. All right. Let's see. Um, hmm. All right. Um, let's see. All right, I will have to math. Hang on. <laughs> so I think I have to do at least three names for each puppy and four for one. Because <laughs> uh, we have 13 names, it looks like. All right. Um, let's see. That's good. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. I'll go ahead and we will start the poll. And we will see. And hopefully I'm mathing properly here. <laughs> hopefully I am uh, hopefully I'm doing the math. And we are we are getting the right number of names for each puppo. Uh, but let's see. So here is here is this one. This is him. We'll go ahead and get a closer look. Uh, he's got a very grey coat. And, uh, I think he's, well, he's not the most gray, but he's, I think he and, I think that's his brother. Is that his brother? I'm not actually sure. He's got, he's got kind of a lighter gray of the, of the puppies here, of the puppies. Let's see. Um, all right, let's see. <laughs> um, you could submit a name with bits and I will try to get it in. Um, we probably could take... I think I could take one one more for male puppies and like two more for female puppies with bits, but channel point names are indeed closed now. Alright, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. And it looks like you guys have voted to name this guy Zeus. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, this is 2M. We'll go ahead and we'll change his name. Wait, <laughs> there we go. We'll keep his designation as one does, but not spell it wrong, thank you very much. And next up, oh, and he's actually the runt of the litter. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't even think to look for that, but I'm pretty sure he is the runt. So, all right, good to know. He's a little bit smaller. So next up, oh, this is, yeah, this is his sister. So this is his uh, uh, his sister here then. I think if we look at, yep, yeah, that is indeed 2F. So she's the other gray pup. Oh, I got the ordering a little bit mixed up. She is the other gray pupper here, and she's a little bit darker than Zeus, it looks like. Let's go ahead and see. I'll go ahead and put in some names for her. We'll go ahead and try and get a closer look. The fur the further puppy back is the one we're looking at, not the one not the one who's right here. We'll get to get to that pupper in a minute. Uh, but we'll go ahead and all right. Let's see. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, complete. Right. 
Wait, <laughs> I'm getting all of my windows mixed up over here. Let's see. And I think this should be good, I think. We'll go ahead and we will start poll. And there we go, you guys can vote on this little one. Greatness do go burr. <laughs> yeah, yeah, indeed. We kind of have a little bit of a stormy look here. Um, indeed, indeed. Yeah, she kind of, she looks like, I think, I'm pretty sure she, yeah, I'm pretty sure she does have a gray coat, because compared to, like, the puppies that we saw, even if you think about the lightest puppies from Peregrine and Remus's litter, they were a little darker than that, and we know all of them had black coats, so I think she probably does have a gray coat, but she's probably a little bit closer to that line, uh, a little bit, little bit closer to the line between gray and uh, black there, perhaps. Um... All right, oh my goodness, you've spent many channel points. Well, thank you for very much for supporting the channel. Channel points do go burr. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, and if you're subbed, you do regain them very, very fast here. Uh, we got a little bit left too. Yeah, the coats are all very, very pretty. We shall see, we shall see. And... Pixie, all right, we're, we're gonna see if we name, uh, if we can get, if we can avoid being confused. That is a very, very, very cute name. All right, so we have 2F is going to be Pixie. Oops, I can't remember if I can like this. Which is a fun, both a fun callback to her mother and hopefully, hopefully I don't get too confused. All right, next up we have 3F, who is over here. So this is 3F, white call 3F. And let me see. So, all right. Um, let's see. All right, and I think, I have to remember. Oh, and we have, okay, we have new name, all right. I will keep that in mind, thank you for catching that. Thank you for donating as well. Oh no, hopefully the polls will start showing up for you because that's a little bit irritating. All right, let's see. Uh, let's complete those. All right, so this is 3F. I think here we go. And... Um, let's see. Um, all right, let's see. I think that should be good. All right, we'll go ahead and here is for puppy 3F. Here we go. Oh, I should not have uh, pause, pause, but here we go. You can see what she looks like here. She's got kind of that lighter, almost uh, almost blondish, kind of sunny looking coat here. Um, let's see. Yeah, keep refreshing if you don't see the polls. There is one now. There is one indeed. There is one running at the moment, but we are kind of between them. Ye valid, valid. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for donating the, uh, for the name there. And we'll see. I'll go ahead and put that in the next poll here. Yeah, she is kind of a sandy colored wolf. Uh, she's got that really pretty, I think, oh, is that, is that the same quote Ash had? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think it might be. Actually, this might be a different one. I can't tell if it's just, if it's the same one, but just tinted or if it's a totally different one. I'm not sure. Ooh, very, so there are some very, very pretty options here for sure. Yeah, rip indeed, rip indeed. All right, and it looks like you guys have voted to name her Freya, so we will go ahead and I will add that in. Um, and let's see here. Oops, if I can spell these things right. <laughs> and last but not least, we have 3M is over here. Uh, he's kind of also got a little bit of a sandyish color to him, but uh, not quite as much as Freya. So let's do a new poll. Um, and here we go. Um, and all right. So we'll go ahead and we will uh, we will start there. We will start that poll. All right. Yeah. No more bit names because I have put in the last poll. Uh, I guess if you, 
Yeah, at, the, at this point, at this point, don't don't submit bit names right now. We'll we'll take them again for the next time, but there's a likelihood of them getting lost. We'll, uh, so at this point, wait for the next litter. Uh, but yee. All right. And I think <laughs> I feel that. Um. All right. Let's see what we end up with here. This is accurate. I am scared. <laughs> Four might be a little bit easier. We'll see. Oh no, I hope the poll opens. You can try reloading and see if that works. Um, but uh oh, polls be finicky apparently. Polls do be finicky. Uh oh. Alright. We almost there. Let's see. Let's see what we get. And it looks like Aether. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we will name this little one Aether. Go ahead and complete these. Thank you guys all for submitting them. And we'll go ahead and name this guy Aether. I always do this. <laughs> I always forget you can't click in the middle of it. Alright. So we have Zeus, Pixie, Freya, and Aether. Those are our puppers. It looks like Aether is the big boy. <laughs> and Zeus is the runt and the girls are in the middle at almost exactly the same weight. Let's go ahead and we will play with them a little bit. Ooh, I do not want to be in puppy cam. I want to stand up and, uh, and we will play with the puppies. We might, we should feed puppies as well. Definitely, definitely a lot of mythology names popping up here. Uh, got a little bit of a theme going on. Let's make sure that we get them fed. We probably won't have to feed them all that much because there's only four. Um, oh, that's... That Twitch do be wild and some- I do not understand what Twitch does half the time. <laughs> it just be out here doing what it wants. Uh, but you know what? If, if it works, I guess. <laughs> but yes, the babies. Oh, Freya, Freya's covering up. No, don't cover up the food, honey. She's just like bearing it. Oh my goodness. Um, Yeah, that, that was what Sierra would, would do with like- she, she would do that with her toys. She would just hide her toys. She would bury them. One time she hid half a bagel in a couch, and we didn't realize this un until much, much later. All right, let's make sure Zeus gets more food, because he, he's going to be hungry, boy. He's small. Um, I'll catch you later, Echo. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we will see you later, and I will try to get the archives up soon. <laughs> uh, hopefully, hopefully they'll be up in the near future, so you can catch up on what you've missed. But I think we're probably as soon as as soon as Aether is finished, because Zeus looks like he's full now. Is everybody else full? Uh, everybody else is full enough, so it's just Aether who needs to eat a little bit more. Pixie, be careful! Be careful! <laughs> I'm going to be paranoid, parent. But let's move everybody back in the den. And I will also clear off the marker from the map because this is actually our den now. So we gotta go get food though. <laughs> we gotta go get some food. We got to go eat. And uh, all right, everybody's safe in the den. Uh, I don't think predators will have found us yet, but we'll probably actually want to maybe mark some of this territory up here. Overall, everything's okay except for these. So I think we're gonna just go up this way. But we do need to find food, and we do need to claim some territory. Um, Pixis, I think I want you to come with us, because <laughs> we're going to be dealing with territory right now. Um, let's see, let's see. Um, oh, it didn't even show the result buttons for me. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> Listen, Minecraft Story Mode is so valid. I, I still love that game. I know it's been ages since I played it on the channel, but it's a great heckin' game. It really heckin' is. Um... Oh no! Yeah, I know. I know, much know the stress of Wolf Quest. It always makes me nervous when I um when I play as well. Uh, and I'm always a little bit, little bit anxiety. Just, just, uh, just, a, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, so if we're gonna want food, we probably want elk herd because those are the ones. Oh, there's meal deer. Those seem to be. Oh, speaking of elk herd. Speaking of elk herd. Wait, no, that's a that's a bull elk herd though. That's a very big bull elk herd. All right, that's not the kind of elk herd that we want. That's not the kind of elk herd that we want. But what we learned the last time that you guys taught me is that it's very easy to take down the elk in the springtime. And that is very much a thing that we want to do. We want something that's going to be easier. <laughs> um, let's see. There are there so there are a lot of open territory hexes, but they're all in the area that like we are, we have a two hex buffer. So our den is in this hex. I guess I guess it could help to claim maybe these two, but we mostly want to get these ones right here so that we have more of a buffer against the pack. The way the way territory works. Oh dear. 
Oh dear. <laughs> the way the way the way Wolf Quest handles territory is a combina combination of a lot of things, but it's like you want you want to have a good buffer on all sides. It's not just as simple as the over territory strength. Um, it's a little bit more complex, so I'm more worried about there being a good buffer against the packs. If there's no pack next to us, then we're a lot less likely to have a pack that decides not just to wander into our territory, but across no man's land from their own. So let's see. Um, yeah, everybody did get- everybody- oh! Hello? Hello? Did you guys, like, put your hecking scent post outside the border? What the heck, y'all? Heckin' cheaters! You're heckin' cheaters! Oh no, this is getting attacked. Um, oh boy. I'm trying to, trying to do, oh no! Not, nope, 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 nope. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. I'm gonna bite you. I'm gonna heckin' bite you. Um, I'm gonna see if this one is, this one's a little bit weaker. One half is a little weaker. This is the one we wanna go for. Oh, nope, 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 nope. We do not want to get bit though. We do not want to get bit. And I do want my, uh, my, my stamina to regen. Uh, let's see. Oh, ow. Did I just get heckin' lagged again? <laughs> Did the heckin' lag thing happen again? I still don't know what was up with that one the other time. Um, also, guys, uh, if you got if something like that happens and there's a glitch where something really weird happens, uh, hello? I think he just got I think he just got like kicked off at the exact same time as he did. But if there's something really strange that happens, uh, go ahead and clip it. Rain did that last time, but it's really helpful because then I can I can actually send that to the devs. So if if strange things start to happen, clip it and then um, message me the link, uh, whisper me the link, and uh, I'll go ahead and look at it and send it to them so that they can see what actually happened. If I'm having a hard time describing it, uh, but that that was really smart and uh, Rain did a good job uh, catching that. Uh, oh, here's the scent post. All right, we gotta see if we can actually pee on this because it's like apparently right at the world border. Like if I pee right here, does that work? That is close enough. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Um, that worked. That worked. <laughs> Let's go ahead and we'll put a scent post somewhere over here. And I really want to get this territory claimed because I want to be done fighting so that I can finally hecking regen. All right, let's see. Yeah, everybody wanted accurate. You can see we have a goal to set Frodo's second litter accurate, both at channel point one and uh, a tip jar goal. You can see that. And uh, what happened is you guys hit the tip jar goal for the first litter being accurate. <laughs> and you guys did that immediately. So we're playing on accurate now. So if you guys want to see me play on a harder difficulty, we'll have goals like that every time. And when you guys hit them, we will go ahead and turn the next litter to accurate. If you hit either one of them. So uh, let's see, you have about a thousand hours on, oh my goodness, on, on, on Minecraft story mode? That's awesome. <laughs> I don't know how many I have. I still have it on Steam. I know, I don't even know like where it's even available still. Hopefully it's still available. Sir. I mean, I guess if it's on Switch, it probably still is, but like, I hope it, I hope it's still available because it's a great hacking game. Oh, and I'm sorry, Celeste. I hope you, I hope you can rest up and uh, be able to be feeling better soon. I'm sorry, I'll be praying because headaches are not fun. I get migraines sometimes, and they suck. <laughs> so I know that feel very, very well. Um, the donation goal unfortunately does not take uh, bits. It doesn't actually run through Twitch. It runs through, um, it runs through Streamlabs instead. And so it does not take bits, I'm afraid, uh, and it, you do have to go to the, there's, there should be a link, uh, the exclamation tip jar link should tell you how to get there, but, um, it does not run through Twitch, so it's a little bit different. <laughs> it's an external thing. Um, yeah, unfor unfortunately not. I wish there was a way to do that, but I don't think there is. Let's go over here, we'll put down a scent post, and then we're gonna go looking for an elk herd that's not a bull elk herd, because that's what I'm smelling. Right as I was, right as I was seeing, right as I did that, I was like, smelling elk, and I was like, this is, this is not the kind of elk that I want to, to hunt right now. <laughs> so, let's see. Um, let's make sure we howl a few times. Let's see. Uh, it's fortunate if you don't. They're definitely, they're not, they're not a pleasant, they're not a pleasant experience. <laughs> Um, yeah, tip jar, I think, is a little bit cheaper due to the way that it works, uh, because the bits, you do pay a little 
extra to Twitch for their share. Um, whereas the um, the tip jar, I think it's more one to one. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, so it it can happen, and I mean it's not the end of the world if it if they the sent post is right on the world border like that because you can still howl until it goes away or just pee elsewhere. Um, but uh, all right, I think. Oops. I think we are. I think we're good. We have a hundred now, but like there, there's also these hexes that are just straight up cut off. <laughs> uh, but I think we're good with territory. So ideally we'd have this, but we also want to probably claim these ones as well. And we can probably let these three go away now that we know where our dead is. Um, oh no, three to four bear attacks sounds scary. <laughs> that, that doesn't seem good. That's not good. That's too many bears. That's too many bears. Take some away, please. <laughs> that is way too many bears. Oh my goodness. Um, let's see, let's go over here. Uh, is that, that I think is actually a normal elk herd that I'm smelling as well. I'm smelling this one. So the primrose herd does not seem to be a bull herd. There's bison here, that does nothing good for us. That's not anything we want to poke with a stick. Uh, but let's go this way and we'll see if we can find not this not this bull elk herd there's there's these fainter scents that i'm chasing the primrose herd is what i'm trying to follow because there is a bull elk herd somewhere around here and i think they were the ones that we bumped into on the way here but uh the primrose herd is the one that i'm going to actually try to hunt from um oh no oh i'll, I'll definitely be praying for your dog i hope that he feels better soon because that's not fun um and, uh, yeah, sun bears are indeed getting added to Planet Zoo. Sun bears are, are definitely something. Rain was, Rain was showing us pictures of them today. We were like, oh, hey, wow, they're interesting, all right? <laughs> there's, there's definitely some wild creatures out there. And, uh, some of them have some very, very interesting traits, but they are getting added to Planet Zoo, so we'll have to, we'll have to see about them there. Um, yeah, there is gonna be a clouded leopard. A lot of you guys called that in the Planet Zoo stream on Tuesday. I was amazed. I logged on to Twitter today and there was the announcement and I was like, man, you guys were just heckin' right, huh? <laughs> just absolutely hit the nail on the head. I don't know how y'all did it, but you guys got some on-point intuition there. Uh, but yeah, we'll be adding in probably clouded leopards. Will be oh, great, it's the floods. Probably clouded leopards will be the first ones that we add. Oh, we gotta swim, it looks like. Alright, well, I guess we're going across. Hopefully we can hunt in the no man's land and not elsewhere. Um, but uh, it seems like there are a lot of fun animals, and we'll probably have to try and add some of them. So let's see. <laughs> well, th thank you very much for the offer. Uh, we are gonna go ahead. We're trying. I'm trying to make sure I log in every, every day that I can from now. Oh, this is Primrose Herd. Hello? Did they just go straight in the water? Oh no, they went along the shore. Okay. Um, well, they did go in the water, didn't they? They just swam back across. <laughs> they did. They swam back across. Oh my goodness. Alright, we're gonna look for them. Let's see if we can find them. They're hiding their tracks in the river. I don't like this. This is... Oh wait, no, I see. You know what? Never mind. I lied. I'm swimming back across. I see, I see something that's already dead. That's better for us. That's even better for us. <laughs> um, okay. Heck this, the elk can hide their tracks for all I care. I'm gonna go get that carcass, wherever it was, uh, if I can still find it. Which maybe I can't. Maybe, maybe I can't do that. Oh, did they come back? Now that's the bull elk herd. I swear I saw a carcass. I swear I saw a carcass. But yeah, I'm gonna, oh, um, oh, there's twin flower herd. No. I'm gonna keep looking for that carcass, but maybe, hopefully we'll find it. I think it might have gone away though, which is kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna be trying to log in for conservation credits. Um, I'm trying to trying to make sure. Oh, they stayed on this side. Look at they hid their tracks in the creek and they popped out. Oh no, this is the Arnica herd. Never mind. But even so, even so, I am miffed. Um, but uh, they, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to earn everything in game during actual gameplay if I can. But if you're on during the stream and you do see that I'm selling animals, you are welcome to buy them <laughs> if you do if you do see them. Um, Oh my goodness. Yeah, clouded leopards are amazing. I love clouded leopards. Uh, let's see. Uh, no, wor no worries. Thank you for joining us. Again, I'll be trying to get these uploaded. You can also watch them here on Twitch. And, uh, yeah, get some rest. Get some rest. Time zones be whack. Um, and uh, thank you for joining us. Let's go over this way. Is this, is this the herd? Is this the herd? Is this gonna be the Arnica herd again? This is the Arnica herd again. That's them over there. Alright, where in the heck... 
Where in the heck did the, the elk go? Oh, Pixis is still in the water, too. Where in the heck did these elk go? Oh my goodness, these... Ooh, they're stupid little tricksters. <laughs> I want, we're gonna have to get back before, but I guess I'll just run along here and see if we can find any other... Oh, is this... This scent. I did not see what scent that was. Hmm. I think... Oh, hey, that's just the straight-up elk herd. Alright, over here... Wait, what was... I didn't get to see it. It went away too fast. Where are these scent trails? I think it's very far away. There doesn't seem to be a lot of scent for sense for stone crop. Stone crop. Is there much? There is quite a lot of no man's lands. We probably could go down into it. Stone crop, stone crop. I'm thinking maybe stone crop is our best option. Goodness, I picked a bad place to swim. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, I think uh, clouded leopards are very good climbers for sure. Uh, oh, maple is a very cute name. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Alright, let's see. Well, I think we can make it. I think if we, can, if we can get across, watch them not actually be where I thought they were. But I think they will be. And I don't- I'm sad that I couldn't find that that carcass because that would have helped us a lot. Um, but we need to move fast and we need to find food quickly here. Stone crop herd. It's gonna be harder with these elk herds being more mobile, I think, because there was always that one that hung around by Peregrine and Remus's old den, but I think we're getting closer to this one. I see more, more stronger scents now that we're getting this way. Oh, there is a cow elk carcass. Hello? Hello? I do see carcass scent trail, too. Is there still? There is still. Maybe we still will find it. Maybe we still will find it. Right here. Right here. Oh, we're getting closer. Hey, maybe this is not... Maybe this is not a failure after all. If a watch will get there and there's gonna be something scary guarding it or something will have already eaten it. Is it still up ahead? Is it still here? Is it still here? I'm gonna go back a little bit. Because we saw it more here. I don't know where the the scent was. It was It was right here. It was right here. It was somewhere. Alright, maybe we'd be better off going for the actual herd. I wonder if the wind direction shifted slightly. It, eh. We'll circle this way and see. Because that's... This is stone crop again. But I'm gonna keep looking for it. There is a den near here. I'm guessing this is Pira's original den. Um, but... We're mostly not really interested in that because we need to hunt and get home. At least, hopefully, these elk will not be. Oh no, this is probably the this is probably the dirt den that's kind of near Pierre's old one. Um, but I think we're careful here. All right, I think that's the stone crop herd still. Stone crop, stone crop. Yep. We need to hunt quickly and get back because our affinity is going to start to decay pretty rapidly here. So I think we just need to hunt. Unfortunately, I don't have time to muck about looking for a carcass that may or may not exist anymore. If we trip over one, that'd be great. I would absolutely not complain about that. But we can't afford to go mucking around looking for it uh, with the pup when the pups are getting this antsy. So we gotta find over here. We also will be wrapping up when we return, probably. I'm hoping it will not take us too long to get back. But it is, unfortunately, getting to be time to wrap this up. So we will be ending off when we return as long as this hunt goes well. Um, this is gonna lead us- oh gosh. We're gonna have to hunt in- oh my goodness. I really don't like that. Okay, I think the herd is right up here though. Oh, the herd must be right up here. Alright, the herd is right up here. The herd is right up here. If we can get in and out. We're not too close to any stranger wolves. So I think we might have the chance. We just gotta be really careful because they're apparently right up here. Alright, here they are, here they are. Alright, which ones? There's not any that are- oop, don't get trample damage though. There's not any that are gonna be, um, totally, like, like there's not gonna be any babies. But some of them will turn around instead of running away is one thing that, they, that you guys have noticed means that they're low on health. Because a lot of them are really low on health. Or at least several of them can be. Whoa! Hey, that hurt. That was some bad travel damage. This is what I was trying to avoid. Alright. 
is there? I don't know. Is Pixis going for anyone in particular? Pixis is going for this one, I think. Possibly. We'll try and see if, if this one's lower. That is not- Oh, golly! Hey, 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 get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. Do we just- I What just clobbered us? Do we just get clocked by the bulwark or something? Oh, gosh. Um... That's not good. That's really not good. Let's let Pixis do some of the hunting here. See if she can do... She's pretty aggressive. She's pretty good at doing damage. Oh, we are, like, heckin' out of stamina, too. Oh, boy. This is not good. You know what? I know a bad hunt when I see one. I am turning around this now. Um, <laughs> we're gonna try to find some rabbits on the way because this is gonna get a lot worse if we don't, uh, if we don't, if we don't deal with this now and get back to the den. Because the pups are, the pups are low on, uh, affinity. We need to just hunt some rabbits, hopefully trip over a carcass. And, because I've learned my lesson with Pyrrha. <laughs> it's not worth it. It is so not worth it. Uh, we just need to get back. Um... Sorry to uh, not have read chat for a bit. I was focused. Um, I was focused. Ah, uh, yeah, we missed. We kind of missed the den. I didn't want to go out of my way for that. Um, Peregrine's heir will have the same accurate system as Frodo. Basically, we'll just swap off. So when we're voting for Frodo's heir, we'll be playing with Peregrine's. That will vote for. Uh, that will play as uh, Frodo's heir, and vote for the heir of Peregrine's heir, just like that, basically. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna stay in scent mode because if there is a carcass then I want to be able to get it, or if there's like hairs or something, we want to be able to get them. But we mostly need to just get back. How far are we? Eesh, we are far from the den. Alright, we need to run. We need to heck and run. We don't even have the stamina to hacking run and it's raining! <laughs> oh I hope this doesn't mean den flood. Alright, we need to Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this at all. Yeesh. Oh, there's a hair. Okay, grab, grab that. We need to eat some. Frodo's the most hurt, so I'm gonna prioritize his food. Because Pixis is still at 85% as well. So I'm gonna prioritize him. The puppies, thankfully, we did feed before we left. So it's mostly just Frodo who I really want to be up on food. Because he's gonna have to heal. And uh, that's gonna be a problem. Um, let's see. Uh, I don't know that howling or... I don't know if- I'm not sure if that will increase affinity. I mean, we can try, but I think when the puppies are here, it doesn't necessarily do that too much. Maybe I'm wrong? Maybe I'm wrong? Oh, it does! Oh my goodness, you guys are a lifesaver! <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys! I had no idea. Well, actually, I don't want to- I don't want to mark territory here. Um, but we can do that a little bit then. Okay, okay. There's a den here. I'm not gonna muck about with that, because we are exhausted. We need to get back. But you guys are a heckin' lifesaver. <laughs> oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, uh, you guys, you guys are on the ball. Alright, let's see, there's gotta be, there's gotta be something else around here. That's dispersal, so we don't need to worry about that. It is heckin' storming. Um, uh, thunderstorm, very nice. And I think, if we go over here, 25 minutes, okay, this we do have to, uh, talk about with, because we need to eat. Uh, we do have to backtrack a little bit, because food. But I think... Here we go. If we run in, we have just enough to do it. There we go. We gotta be really careful. We are totally out, but the good news is at least we can still hunt mostly, it seems like. Lightning storm indeed. We could probably we could probably well, oh, I do not I don't want to camp out because I don't think we're gonna be like the pups are not gonna stay in the den. The pups are gonna come out if we do that is a problem. Um Oh gosh, yeah, the the, the shelter two thunderstorms are definitely more scary. Um definitely a lot more scary. Oh, here's another one another one right here. We can try and catch it, hopefully, if we can just catch up. There we go. We might be alright. We might be able to survive eating hares, and then we just really need to make sure we hunt, but I want Frodo to be as up on food as he possibly can. We may have to drink water to get more stamina, too, uh, and see if that helps. So, let's keep going. I think we're getting there. I think we're getting there. Um, we're almost back. We're, we're getting closer to being back. So we really just can't run that far away in search of food anymore. Hopefully we'll find more closer soon um, in, in, in the future here. Hopefully there'll be more elk herds that are closer. Uh, where did he go? Oish, this is gonna be a trail to run. Um, Alright, we're almost there though. We've almost got him. We've almost got him. Let's go ahead. 
should be right up here. There he is. Get him. There we go. We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. <laughs> Lightning and scent view does look very, very cool. Um, oh, hey, welcome. Thank you for coming over here. Uh, hopefully we do have good luck to find tons of hairs. Let's see if we can play a little bit more with Pixis and get this up a bit. Nope, we can't. Never mind. Let's move our butts. <laughs> uh, we gotta get back. I think that's pretty close to enough for Frodo, though. Hopefully that'll be fine for him to be able to, um... Hopefully that'll be enough for him to be able to... To get back and to at least heal most of the way up, but I'm a little bit worried because he really hasn't... But maybe we can get back. Maybe we can hunt a little bit around the den, like play with the puppies a little bit, and then hunt around the den area, possibly, just a brief bit. I don't want to go too far over, but we're certainly going to try to uh, get through here. Okay, we got to swim. I'm going to go up a little bit to where it narrows a bit, because swimming is very slow. Let's go this way. Um, I think over here is even, even smaller. All right, we'll jump here. We'll try and swim. Let's see. Yep, yep. Yeah, the lightning in this game is very, very cool. Very, very, very cool. Alright, there's a hair on the other side, too, that we might be able to grab. Uh, we are really going to be pushing our luck, and we're probably going to have to take a short day tomorrow. Or, well, not, like, in-game tomorrow. When we when we get back, we're probably going to have to take a short day, because I don't think we're going to be able to rest through the whole night. Uh, or we're going to be starting very late, and I try to play at night. So here's this. It's just because it's harder to see at night. Um, this is... At least this is an easier one, heading in the right direction. Finally, I think we're gonna be okay. I think we're gonna make it, but barely. <laughs> uh, we'll just play with the pups, and then we'll try and sleep, probably. Um, try, try and sleep through that, and then see where we stand there. There's that stupid bull elk herd again. How close are we? We're getting there, we're getting there. All right, this is, is this an elk herd that's like really hacking close? That's a stupid primrose herd. They juked me in the water. I'm so salty. I am absolutely salty. <laughs> they came out on this side after all. We did not have to run all that way. I I am I am salt. I am salt. Alright, here we go. We need to get back. We need to get back. We need to get back. Here we go. We do not have much stamina, but we need to run as fast as we can. The puppies are about to leave. Oh, this is stressful. This is stressful. Very stressful. Alright. Come on. Got to hurry. We need to hurry very quickly. Very quickly. Oh, we do not have time to luck about how close are we. We're getting there. I think we'll make it. I think we'll make it. I did miss one hair back there because I want to go back and play with the puppies. And oh my goodness. Then what we'll probably do, I'm gonna play with them a little bit. I'll move them back in the den. And uh and we'll see. Cause like, okay, I think we're I think the den is right here. I think the den is right here. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We're right here, I think. Yeah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Outsmarted by the herd, indeed. I'm so salty. I'll forever be salty over that. That's just... No, elk are the heckin' worst. Oh, there's a carcass here. Okay, so I smell carcass. What we're gonna do, we're gonna play... Oh my goodness, of course, it's Zeus who's first out in the storm. <laughs> How are the puppies doing? The puppies are at 80%. Um, we're gonna play with them. We're gonna howl a little bit. Um, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna do some play in here. We are going to make sure their affinity goes up, and then we're going to look for that carcass really fast, and then we will, uh, then we will, <laughs> then we'll wrap up. So it might be a few minutes over. I apologize for that. Puppy time is best time. I do hope we don't have flood. Um, hopefully we're good. Pixie is going over. Oh, I think this is going to feed, possibly. Um, perhaps we just need to get food up right now. Zeus is hanging out. Oh, Zeus is just chilling with us over here. Oh my goodness. Um, he's just vibing. As well. Alright, um, let's woof back in den. And I think we fed them some. Most of them are pretty pretty well. Um, it's Zeus and Freya who aren't. So what I'm gonna do is just is there still a carcass somewhere? There's there's a hare that ran by here. I just wanna hunt a little bit more and uh, see if we can find oh there is a carcass somewhere this way. Alright, maybe we can still get to it. It's right over here. Right over here. And we should be able to... Oh, is that the hair? That is the hair. Alright, let's go over here. And let's get that. And then we'll see if we can uh, see if we can find that carcass really fast. And then we'll try to get back really quickly. Um, oh, good. Um, okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, thank you for hanging out. Uh, thank you for hanging out, Rain. We'll hopefully not be too, too late. 
picks this, oh, picks a steak for pops. That's totally fine. That is absolutely fine. Uh, we're just here to get food. I don't see the carcass anymore. Stupid disappearing carcasses. Where do they go? Where do they go? Why, why do they keep being gone? <laughs> what the heck? What is with these carcasses? All right, um, let's see. I think the hair is right up here, it looks like. Let's see if we can go ahead and catch this. I just want to make sure we'll have enough to sleep through the night. And then we'll probably we'll try to sleep and we'll get started the next day probably. Um, the sun is actually going down right now. Um, I think I want to get a little bit more. What oh, Pixis is howling. Yeah, I know you want us to come along. I'm sorry. Oh, that's the deer. Where did this hair go? The hair went this way. Did it? That's, there's coyotes. There's coyotes somewhere around here. Did Coyote take care, possibly? Oh wait, it's right up here. I see it, I see it, I see it, I see it. All right, let's get one more, and then we will go back and try to sleep. Um, and we will sleep through the night, and uh, hopefully that'll be good. Carcass might have been guarded, so we're not gonna mess with that now. We're just gonna go back and get some heck of sleep. Uh, and then we'll, we'll leave off at the dawn of the next morning when we've kind of seen how things are. Oh, does it increase affinity to Howl? Does it increase affinity to Howl back like that? We'll see. We'll see. I did this time, so either it was too late or it doesn't necessarily do it every time. Okay, we'll see. Oh, there's Pixis. There's Pixis. She's howling again. We'll howl back. We'll see. Oh, that did! Oh, yeah, you guys are very smart. You guys are very smart. <laughs> Y'all know your stuff. Y'all know your stuff. Oh, here's another hair. We can do one more. Do one more. And probably... Oh, it's running in a good direction, too. It's getting close or itch to the den. Sort of. We're kind of circling by. All right, there it is. Let's go ahead and grab it real fast. I'm glad that uh, Frodo is able to actually hunt on no stamina. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes the thunderclap cracks are a little bit scary. Oh, my goodness. We had a thunderstorm recently here on RL, which is so weird because I live in a desert, and that just does not happen. We had a big one, like, last week. Oh, here we are. We're at the den. All right. Let's go ahead. We will very, very quickly play with puppies again just a bit. Um, there's Zeus. Again, he's the first one out of the den. Of course he is. Um, let's get everybody out. Let's get everybody out. So we can call him Zeus. Oh, he's going right back to the food. That's what he's doing. We'll kind of stand guard. We'll let them uh, eat a little bit. There's Pixie. And Freya's still in the den. So let's go ahead. We'll do that. We'll sleep. And then we will wrap up, I think. So probably not going to let us play too much more. Because we already did that recently. But uh, we'll play with them a little bit. Oh, here comes Freya and Pixie. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, the babies. The good babies. Such good babies. <laughs> Zeus and his thunderstorm indeed. Lightning go burr. Lightning go burr. We'll go ahead and we will sleep for a bit. I do want to see, I don't know if we're going to be able to totally regen. Oh, thankfully it changed to snow pretty quickly here, so I don't think the den should flood. Uh, we will sleep out in it though. Hopefully that doesn't... I don't know if weather gets the pups sick, sick or not. Some of you guys thought that it might. <laughs> Some of you guys have told me that either here on, or on YouTube. Um... Let's go ahead and we'll sleep a little bit more. Try and regen. Let it get to be a little bit daytime. But after that, I'm gonna send the puppies in the den really quickly. And yeah, go back in the den, y'all. Back in the den, y'all. And uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and leave off here, I think. So we didn't get, oh my goodness. <laughs> everybody in the den, everybody in the den. Where are these fools? Where are these fools? We didn't totally heal. We didn't totally regen sleep. So we're going to have to make kind of a quick day. Where is... Okay, we, we, got, we got a little bit of territory. Get your butt out of my turf. Get. Yep, there we go. All right, we're good. We're good. So we're going to go ahead and end off here for today, I think, because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to follow me here on Twitch and subscribe to JPlays2 on YouTube. Uh, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.